Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will be talking about the chapter of 3 dimensional geometry and specifically the topic of planes. Uh, so, in the last videos we have talked about things like straight lines in 3 dimensions, uh, direction ratios, direction cosines and all the basics. Uh, in planes we will be uh, now extending the topic further and going from uh, straight lines to planes. Uh, planes is an important topic and it is fairly straightforward because it is very similar to straight lines in 2D. So, let me just start so that you can get a feel of planes. So, you know probably that a plane is a 3 dimensional object which is like a sheet. Uh, it is infinite like a straight line it is infinite. So, uh, as you my see my hand and this hand is can serve as a plane, but it will be infinite in all directions. So, but it will be like a sheet thin sheet without any thickness. So, uh, all the points on this plane uh, can be represented like in a straight line by a point r whose coordinates or position vector are represented by small r vector. Okay. So, plane is a collection of points. So, r vector is a collection of points uh, which lie on this plane. Okay. Uh, so, we have to find the equation of this plane. Uh, so, if you think about it, uh, a straight line in two dimensional two dimensions is actually a plane in three dimensions. So, for instance, assume that this line is 2D. So, this line is 2D and it is infinite and this is x and y direction, but if in z direction if you extend this line and you make it a sheet it becomes a plane. So, you will see that the the chapter of straight lines which you probably are familiar with is very similar to planes in 3D. So, there will be some similarities that you will see uh, while solving the problems. Okay. So, let us first just define the equation of plane uh, and see some features about the plane and then we will take some problems on it. Uh, so, what do we need to define a plane? So, in topic of straight lines we discussed what do we need to define a straight line. In straight line we need we needed a point uh, which was a vector and then a parallel vector which was b vector and then for straight lines we wrote r vector is a vector plus lambda b vector. Uh, if you are not familiar with this please go ahead and check out the straight lines video. But now how should we go about in planes? So, in plane one of a very very normal which a property that you may already know, uh, but you can very quickly understand is that every plane has a normal vector, I am calling it n vector here, which is perpendicular to the entire plane. And what do we mean by the entire plane? Is that any vector which will be on the plane? So, let us say there is there are vectors here, there is vector here, there is vector here, there is vector here, these all the vectors that I have just drawn are on the plane, they are all perpendicular to this n vector. So, any vector which will lie on the plane will be perpendicular to this n vector. Now, the plane is so n vector is a free vector, so it is not fixed. So, n vector can move in space, but cannot change its direction and can so, but it can move in space. So, do not you do not have to worry about. So, it is a free vector. However, the plane is fixed. So, plane is fixed. So, you how can you so I mean basically a normal vector if you if you know the normal vector you can draw infinite planes which will be perpendicular to that vector because it will be set of parallel planes basically. However, to fix them in space, fix this plane in space you need also a point which is fixed in space. In other words, if I have a point a vector, a point with position vector a again remember that position vector means coordinates. Okay. If you have a point a in, in space which is fixed, then you can define a, a, a plane because now you have fixed the plane because of the point and then you have uh, fixed the normal vector. But how do we write the equation of this? So, you can write this equation by recalling something which you probably know that uh, r vector minus a vector basically r vector minus a vector uh, would be perpendicular to n vector and the condition for perpendicularity as soon as I say should you should remember condition of perpendicularity is that r minus a dot n should be equal to 0. Okay. So, this is the equation of a plane. Uh, this is not a very very straightforward looking equation because there is a dot product involved. Uh, so, it was a little more obvious when you saw it in a straight lines vector form, but it becomes a little more obvious if you write this equation in uh, in the form of uh, uh, in coordinate form. So, what, what do we mean by that? So, let us assume that r vector is a i cap uh, sorry x i cap plus y j cap because it is a general general point y j cap plus z k cap 
right? Uh, n vector is a i cap plus b j cap plus c k cap and a vector is a x i cap plus a by j cap plus a z k cap. Okay. So, if you now put these values and input you put it in the, in the dot product and if you solve this uh, equation then you will get a into x minus a x plus b into y minus a y plus c into z minus a z is equal to 0 and you can also write this as a x plus b y plus c z equal to some constant which you can define here as d which is actually equal to a a x plus b b y sorry a b a y plus c a z. You can do the math but basically you will get something like this a x plus b y plus c z is equal to d type form where d is some constant related to the coordinate a. And this is a very interesting equation because if you recall uh, the equation of straight lines then you can very quickly remember in 2D you can remember very quickly that this is just added an extra C z here uh, and that is an equation of a 3D 3D plane. Okay. Uh, so, how can we how can we understand whenever we get an get a equation of a plane and how can we interpret it. So, let us do an example to understand uh, a question uh, to understand the interpretation for a plane. So, question is uh, let us do a question what is the normal vector to the plane 3 x plus 4 y plus 2 z is equal to 1. 3 x plus 4 y plus 2 z equal to 1. Okay. 3 x plus 4 y plus 2 z is equal to 1 what is normal to the plane and also find so find x y z intercepts. Okay, so I mean it's a very very basic question. I just wanted to sort of give you a feel so that it doesn't seem rushed of what we are talking about planes. So whenever you see an equation of the plane, the first thing that should flash into your mind if an equation is written like this, that these three are the coefficients of a normal. Okay, so n vector is three i cap plus four j cap plus two z two uh, k cap. Now, is this the only vec normal vector? No, of course not. This is not the only normal vector. I can just uh, do a minus everywhere and also minus 1 here, then this will become minus 3a cap minus 4j cap minus 2k cap. So, again, this is a direction, direction ratio. This is like a direction ratio of free vector. Now, if we want to ex stretch it out, compress it, make it completely negative in the direction, it is fine, that is all allowed. So, let us say, even if you get a very simple question like this in J it might be a multiple choice question and then what do you have to see is you have to find all the parallel vectors to this. Uh, you can also find a unit vector divide by 3 square plus 4 square plus 2 square square root and you will get a normal unit vector. So, you should know and un understand that coefficients will give you a normal vector. If you need more normal vectors for whatever reason you can find them by just multiplying by some factor to get the answer any real number you can multiply. Now, uh, what is x intercept, y intercept, z intercept? So, x intercept is, a, is the value of x whenever y and z both are 0. So, if you have a plane, basically if you can understand this like this, uh, so this is x, this is y, this is z, then this is this point, this length is x intercept. and so on for like y intercept and z intercept. So, you for this you should put both y and z to be 0. So, the x intercept 
put y and z equal to 0, so x is equal to 1 by 3. Uh, so, the point is actually like just so that you understand 1 comma 1 by 3 comma 0 comma 0. Similarly, y intercept uh, is 0 comma 1 by 4 comma 0 and z intercept is 0 comma 0 comma 1 by half 1 by 2. Okay. Now, do you remember something very quickly that you probably did already in the in your straight line chapter is an intercept form. What does intercept form say is that uh, and if you want to find intercepts of a plane then rather than trying to do always like this you can convert any equation into the form of in this form basically make the right hand side 1 and then the coefficients would be this. I mean you can imagine that this is a very straightforward thing to understand if we put y and z equal to 0 then x is equal to x intercept which is what you want. So, this is intercept form uh, you should also remember an intercept form you should also remember this this way of thinking uh, and then lastly like something that you should uh, remember uh, is a normal form. So, the normal form says that you you can convert. Uh, so, let us just also talk about normal form. Okay. So, normal form says that uh, you are rather than taking a dot with uh, uh, n uh, with n vector you take a dot with the n cap vector and what what does that mean you do something like this and you can uh, basically to s if you simplify this you can do that uh, you can try to do that but basically you will get something like this right and uh, r dot n cap would be something so it will it will boil down to uh, ax plus v of the c that is equal to d uh, and you would make sure uh, because this is multiplied with n cap you can imagine that uh, root a square plus b square plus c square is equal to 1 uh, and if this is positive this is positive or you can make it positive basically the magnitude of d is the perpendicular distance from origin ok. So, uh, this might not be very very obvious it is ok. Uh, I will I will try to this is a normal form which you have already did and did you did in uh, straight line. So, I wanted to cover here, but I will talk about this in a lot more detail which is a uh, perpendicular dis distance of a point from a plane where this will actually become a lot more uh, clear, but I mean this is just so that you understand there is a normal form uh, more important is the intercept form and this form. Okay. So, I hope you are able to see what does a plane mean plane is very similar to a straight line in, uh, in 2D. Uh, and that if you have to find the normal vector you just take the coefficients of x y and z, z direction and if you want to find the x intercept y intercept z intercept you can just convert the equation to this form there is also a normal form which can give you a perpendicular distance from the origin uh, however we will talk about this in more details in the next video. So, I hope this was an easy introduction and uh, hopefully a very useful one because it is important for you to like grasp the basics like plane is fixed plane is a sheet in three dimensional is it is infinite it is fixed in space. Uh, so, if it is fixed in space you need to have a point fixed in space uh, and there is a normal uh, the normal vector is perpendicular to all the vectors on the plane. So, these kind of concepts. So, just uh, I hope you can uh, you understood this uh, video and you find it useful uh, I hope to see you in the next video we will be going through more interesting topic of planes. Thank you.